Welcome back to the VST channel. This here is my Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and today I'm trying the Smart Launcher Pro. I just subscribed to a free trial. It costs something like $3 per year or you can just pay like five bucks and use it a lifetime. Never try it guys. Learn about exclusive features, Smart Widgets Pro, Blur Effect, Edit Categories, Advanced Adaptive Icons, Extra Home Pages, AMOLED Black, Ultra Immersive Mode, folders in the app page, app page notification, a bunch of things. So you can do the same if you go to Play Store and choose Smart Launcher. Now I'm gonna open it. I like the fact that I can see the setup screen and also behind it, my real wallpaper. First thing that we notice, if you are a big fan of a vertical app drawer, then perhaps you can try out this launcher. I know that Nova and many other launchers do support this, but this is how it looks like. Now let me just see what I can do. If I'm here inside, I can click on the launcher immediately. This will give me the homepage settings from where I can access the wallpapers, the global appearance, and actually all of my settings. Let's start with customizing the wallpaper. Now it seems that the launcher has insights from wallpapers uh, and they look quite nice by the way. Let's just go for that one. This is a cool one. So Laureate, uh, pinch, you can pinch, zoom, drag, move, whatever you want. So I'm gonna hit the apply. Now let's just see how I can change and configure the widgets because honestly, I don't wanna have the weather in Fahrenheit. So it's very intuitive, I would say. You can select it from here and boom. Now I have something that is a bit more to my taste. What happens with the widgets, guys? Okay, you can probably remove them, move them any way you want on the screen. The animation is, is nice, I would say. There's also something called fine positioning. Oh, I like this. All right, if this screen would have been smaller like this, you can move it really where you want. Let's check the global appearance. Apparently the launcher also supports some themes. I do have the acrylic theme right now, and that's the default theme. I'll let you see if I press uh, the blur effect, enable blur effect behind the UI of the launcher. Oh, okay. This is something that I like. Page background, so a lot of nice and custom selections um, like we would expect from a nice launcher. Items on the background, okay, this you can change as well. Surface, the surface stroke, so apparently I can modify all of this, uh, but let me just try to add another team. So what happens if I want to add another team? Do I have any options? So I have the default one, the classic and the honeycomb one. Let's go for that one. I will not like this. I can immediately tell just because of the facts how the icons are grouped. And I was absolutely correct. By the way, the animations are very snappy. Icon appearance. We have tons of shapes that you can use and we have also adaptive icons. Some nice things that you can do really, things like this you can do anyway from um, the theme park. But here, I think it's also quite accessible. You can do this straight away from here. So let's just keep the icons like this. Then we also have the grid properties, also highly customizable. The standard one, the dense one. I like the way they are drawing the grids here and dense plus. Then we have some fonts here. Title font Metropolis. Oh, we have a lot of fonts. That's good. Suggested system fonts, sensory fonts, not that bad. So a lot of customization options indeed. Let's just see what happens with notifications. Highlight app that has notifications. All right, and for that, of course, we need to grant access and sell our soul to the devil of the notifications. Now let's see what happens on the folder. Immersive folders. Now, what does immersive folders mean? I guess that's it, guys. The moment I click the folder, boom, that's what immersive is. And I remove the immersive folders, boom. Not so immersive, <laughs> so you see the point? Although I like this, is uh, also nice because there is this depth effect. You can see how my background and the wallpaper is really behind uh, the folder. Then there are widgets, all right, rounded widget corners, corner radius, so if I remove the rounded widget corners, I guess you're gonna have a more, yeah, like a square widgets. Yeah, yeah, there is a slight 3D effect. I'm not sure if you can see this on the camera, uh, but it seems that the icons somehow are moving around. Now, let me just do what I would usually do, like put my social apps here. So we have a button called the Smart Search from where we can search apps and contacts. I remove my contacts apparently, but also search media calendars uh, and then everything else. So now let's just decide to type Telegram, I have it here. Okay, it's a nice icon by the way. So what kind of results we get? We get the results from the application and then also in the store. So I will now hold it here. Oh, okay. And now I have Telegram. What happens if I hold Telegram like here? People that I used to talk, I can initiate new conversations. That's nice. This is the app drawer. And by the way, here, guys, we have some categories. So it's internet, it's games, oh, a lot of games, it's media, utilities. 
So that's nice that we have that one. And of course, there are also this like settings related apps. Uh, now, oh, the search one is a nice one, by the way, see? So I can search by index. So let's just search for X, for example, X is here. Now I can add it. Now let me just try to take this and put it in a folder. No, come on. I can even not do this. How can I create a new folder? Probably just from here. Uh, let's title the folder social, for example. There are some things that I don't like. I can tell you immediately, uh, like for example, the grouping of the icons to create an auto folder. It could be as well that as the settings. Okay, we have the immersive folder. Let's just see apps opening and closing. All right. Okay, a bit too abrupt. Oh, okay. A bit too abrupt for my personal likings. Um, by the way, another test. Do we support like dual touch? Not really, right? Oops, long press. Add a widget. So we have the icon group, we have music pro, we have battery. All right, let's put that. Okay, and now let's just go back and test something I saw previously. If we go to the widgets and I want to have the rounded widget corners, I guess now this will change it, okay. Let's check the other widgets. We have a compass here, we have a smart search, we have a clock with the weather. Uh, and then we have this one here, like the widget stack pro, which I think is the uh, responsible one. So responsive and dynamic widget specifically designed for the smart launcher. Okay, you know what? Let's just go and choose this one, for example. What is gonna happen here? Ah, this is, so they call it this, the pro widget is when you stack them, guys. All right, I understand. Now let me, I wanna stack Spotify. Let's try to stack Spotify and see what happens here. Confirm, okay, uh, now let me just try to make this widget as big as we can. Can we? Oh, we can, by the way. All right, and now, yep, stacked widgets work. Uh, now let's just check animations inside. So opening, Spotify, closing, ooh, what? Opening, closing will get me the home page and not my widget page, but I guess this can be configured. So here we have the home animation, apparently blur, fade out, pixel launcher. We have the ultra immersive mode. There is a lot of immersive things in this launcher. Some more settings here, status bar visibility, always hidden. Okay, that's good. I would call this is kind of like a bit more immersive, right? Then we have the dark status bar on the icons automatic. And then we have a gray mode, which I think it exactly that's what you would expect it to do. And now let's continue with all the other settings because remember, this is now just the appearance, but we have far more. So gestures and hotkeys, double tap. Okay, let's just see if we can do double tap to lock. No, but you can apparently select an application. So let's just now do this one. Okay, it works. Smart display off. When you put a device on a flat surface. Okay. And now, all right, let's just see. How smart is this? Oh, okay, <laughs> this is good. Enable swipe gesture. So uh, we have single finger, okay, and then we have double finger. Okay, so dual swipe left. Let's just see if uh, I do a double swipe left, maybe we start Tweety Mark. So, uh, okay, this is standard behavior. If I do like this, no, probably needs a learning curve. So new page is here. Manage topics, no, layout large. Can we, by the way, change this to Google? I don't really want to have Microsoft start, but <laughs> and there are anyway, no results here. Uh, layout, you have the layout and the language region. So the home page, and then you have the search page. In the search page, we already reviewed this one. Search provider is default. Then it also let's go, uh, let's do Google. So let's type Mario. Okay, brothers, let you see. Uh, yep, that works by the way. Advanced adaptive icons, I think we also saw that one. This is the idea that you can just change all of your icons and you have this 1000 shapes of those. Oh, this is a nice one by the way, yeah. Oh, okay, I like this. When enabled, dark team uses total black backgrounds to save up 60% of the energy. How do they calculate this? It didn't really work, so I probably need to enable the dark mode, so, oh. Okay, yes, yes, that's good, that's good. That's really good, by the way. Um, phone settings, now, it's interesting because here, where I can access my settings, oh, okay, that's good, I like this one. Everything really black, guys, you can just see, this is why they call it dark AMOLED black. And just because we have to do a proper testing, if we remove that one, yeah, we are now stuck with the proper gray one, which is something else. I'm now in the up space, so if I click here, I'm gonna be able to add a folder. So let's just, for example, add a business folder. Now, 
oh business folder was already there by the way so that's cool i can go now in my settings and nobody knows that i have a business folder and what do we have in my business folder besides the standard company things i have also mobile ssh that's real business okay i like this and as we've seen from the app settings you have a lot of options to customize your icons pop-up widgets that's nice assign a widget to an icon and activate it with a double tap this is good, by the way. Um, smart screen off, we tested this one. And double finger. Now, the double finger, for some reason, didn't really work for me. I activated, I believe, three. Oh, yeah, it works. I activated 3D Mark, by the way, no? So definitely, yeah, I was able to get it the first time. Not something that I would use. Definitely needs a learning curve. But once you master this, yeah, I can play with all kinds of settings like this. Now, let me know what you think down below, guys. Is this launcher worth enough to replace the one year home or even to replace your other custom launcher? Do you like it? If you want to try it out, yeah, you know where to download it, guys. It's going to be on Play Store. Thanks so much for watching. VST over and bye.